Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. It is Moscow Mule Monday. So grab a Moscow Mule and come join. I am actually going to be teaching you a really interesting trick that I personally found for myself. I have not seen this from someone else, but if you do it, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to come check your stuff out as well. All right, so I'm going to give you guys an example of what this is going to do. I have silver foil looking tape that provides a really cool edging. Okay? And I did this on all four corners of this. I still have to do another layer of resin and then I have to remove those bulbs, all that good stuff. But basically, what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to fix the big no no's on the side of our canvases. Um, most times I'm very good and I finish all my sides and they look so pretty because I'm OCD, but it hurts me to see this one. I did this for you, okay? I did this for you guys. <laughs> but if you decide that you hate a piece and you don't do the edges, that's actually what happened with this one. I decided, you know what? I don't like this. I'm not going to do the edges. Well, once it dried, I loved it. And then I had to figure out a really creative way besides just painting gold or silver onto the side or even silver leafing the side because that would have taken a really long time. So I found this tape and it is Nashua or Nashua. Um, and I got it just at Home Depot. You guys can get it in the um, electrical, uh, you know, <laughs> I cannot think of the word right now. So, I'll just hop to it. Basically, the easiest way is to go ahead and take your first one, take the scissors, it's got a backing on it so you don't have to worry about it sticking or anything yet. Take the backing and then cut to where you'll approximately need, okay? It's okay if the cut is not perfect because it does wrap around the edges a little. Now, there's a couple things that you can do. If you notice, some of this is really crinkled because someone stepped on it or for whatever reason it got crinkled. I actually think it gives it a really nice look. So you can take your tape and crinkle it yourself. So just keep bending it around and I think it gives it a really cool look. Be careful with it though because I did just rip this right here so I'll have to put that on my bottom. but. I love this look. It kind of helps it look a little bit more like silver leafing too. So then you want to go ahead and try to flatten it out. Okay. And the way that I like to do it is I like to lay it on the ground on a flat surface and know which side that you're going to wrap under the bottom. This is my torn side so I'm going to wrap that under the bottom. Go ahead and peel it apart. Set this on the ground or your table or whatever surface you're working on. This part is going to be lined up with the top of my canvas. So just try to line it up as best you can and slowly push down. And then once you get it lined up, you can go ahead and press very firmly. And you can roll it back and forth. That kind of helps to secure around the edges. Okay? So you guys can see this gave it a really nice, clean edging. Now, what do you do with the sides, right? So the first thing that I do is I fold over my corners. Make sure that's nice and folded. And then you can fold this corner in, kind of like the military bed folds, right? or the nursing home bed folds, right? So that way you get your 45 degree corner angle. Do the same thing on this side, fold that corner in, and then fold this in, get that 45. Then you can go ahead and just push it down. I push it from the center and work my way out since I already know that these are folded in. Then you can just keep flattening it. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I friggin love this and I think it really adds a lot to the character of the piece besides just having, because if you, I guess you can look at it this way, you know, this one's finished except for this little piece right here, uh, but this side's finished. 
and it looks pretty cool. But then you see this, I like. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, speed through the rest of this. So let me know what you guys thought, and if you have any requests, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And in the meantime, make sure you check me out on social media. I put things on Instagram every day, and I interact and do Facebook Lives every Friday. So, have a great day!